We are talking today with Reverend John Busman, the pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church, and we're going to talk about the school. Yes, today, we are. big event that has been taking place for many, many years now, an auction. Yes. Give us the details. Yeah, every spring, uh, for I don't know how long, we've we've done an auction, uh, invited the community, uh, whoever to come. Uh, it's going to be April the eighth. And we have a silent auction that will start at 5 o'clock, and the live auction starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, there are tables and tables and tables full of stuff for the, for the silent auction. Uh, generally, you have uh, oil changes and, and little knickknacks throughout there. And, uh, and then the live auction uh, will, will begin at 6 and just go for as long as we have things to auction. And you usually have some pretty big items. We do. Uh, you know, every year we, we tend to have uh, a TV or two, uh, uh, bedroom suits. Um, the Vacations. E vacations. Yeah. Uh, uh, to Pigeon Forge, down to the beach. Uh, so those are always, always nice. Um, and then each classroom, the students put together a quilt. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's only one of them, so those <laughs> those bidding wars can get quite The parents intense. start bidding against each other, right? They do, and, and it was either last year or the year before we actually had two members of the same family sitting apart from each other, and they didn't know who was bidding. Well, they didn't know. They it. didn't know, so they just kept out bidding each other, and of course, you know, who was going to tell them? That's right. That's right. Who's the auctioneer? Uh, Is it Perry Warren? No, it's... Um, Messer Smith. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And I can't think of his first name. I don't remember his either, first name. But uh, I know he always does a good job on yes, that. Yes, he does. Uh -huh. The money that's raised, what is it used for? It, it's used for the school fund. So it, it's, it carries uh, throughout the entire school year uh, for basic school needs. Uh, there's a section of their budget that, that they're responsible for fundraising. Our rummage sale money goes to that uh -huh. as well. Okay. So. That's where it goes. Uh, Reverend John, tell us a little bit about the school. Why would someone want to send their child to St. Paul's Lutheran School? Well, we've been around now for 61 years, and you know we started basically as a as a kindergarten and just moved up year by year with with each class. Um, you know, education historically was always the church's responsibility, and uh, you know as as times have changed over the last hundred or so years rather quickly um, you know the church has just said well well if they're gonna handle it we'll just let them handle it and and, and uh, health care all these kinds of things you know used to especially in Coleman you could say well we we teach a Christ-centered education um, but you know as well as I do um, Unfortunately, people don't necessarily care about that too much today. Um, but that's still uh, so important that we're able to, to teach that as well as as well as give an edu give a give a really good education. Um, our sixth graders uh, have historically left, graduated, um, grading on a high school level. Um, so that's you know uh, kudos to our our teachers. They do a really really good job. Um, but being able to have those kids in chapel once a week, uh, my being able to be in the classroom with them, uh, teaching them religion, just building relationships with them, uh, and spilling that over into the home uh, is, is so important um, because it, everything starts in the home. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't have these kids for seven or eight hours a day or uh, my having them for an hour on Sunday and expect them just to get it all. You know, it's got to start at the home. So hopefully, an education at St. Paul's will instill in these kids and, and spill over into the home what the home is supposed to look like. You know, mm -hmm. parents being parents, children being children, teachers being teachers, pastors being pastors, and building that core foundation um, for those children. Even though St. Paul's Lutheran Church sponsors the school, the students are not necessarily all Lutheran family members. No, they're, they're not. In fact, a vast majority of our uh, students are not members of the church. Uh, the church really sees the school as, as our mission. 
You know, and that's not if you enroll your child, I'm going to be knocking on your door trying to convert you to Lutheranism. I mean, that, that's not what we're about. Now, if, if somebody comes in who's unchurched, uh, certainly, you know, I, I, I would love to have that conversation. But if somebody is a member at St. John's or 7th Street, you know, I'm not going to say, hey, you know, we do this a little better than you, so let's, let's come join St. Paul's. You know, we're, we're, not, we're not about that. We're, yeah. we're about uh, the child. Uh, giving them the best education that they could possibly receive, certainly on a on a smaller scale, or in a smaller scale classroom, uh, with a teacher who, uh, not that other teachers don't care. I mean, teachers. I I don't think I've had a teacher who didn't care about me or my education. But uh, something about that the smaller scale classroom, uh, the teacher can can certainly pay more attention uh, to the individual needs of of every student. You know, so that's that's something that's really special about St. Paul's. Let's talk about the teachers a little bit. You don't have a great deal of turnover. The teachers have a tendency to stay a long time. Over the last several years, that's that's tended to be the case, which is really really helpful um, for the the success of of our classroom and and of our mission. Uh, and and you know. Several years ago, I've only been here for three and a half years, and when I came in, uh, we had several teachers retiring, and, and we needed to fill uh, those vacancies, and we and we did. Um, and fortunately, we found several teachers who were just coming out of out of school, and and they love it at St. Paul's, you know, and they've done a they've done a really really good job, and they teach like. I was taught, you know, it's, it's the, the classroom is the classroom and there's a time for play, uh, but there's also a time to learn and it's, and it's uh, very, very well structured. Uh, to wrap things up, give us the who, what, where again about the auction. Sure, the auction is April the 8th, silent auction starts at 5 o'clock and the live auction starts at 6 o'clock and there's food, there's anything you could imagine there so and a lot of great fellowship a lot of great fellowship so everybody come out and have a great time okay thank you reverend john busman very welcome